Christina, a one-year, 10-month-old child from Vanuatu, was having persistent cough and cold from birth. On taking a chest x-ray, doctors at Vanuatu found a huge tumor-like mass in her chest near her heart and lungs. The doctors at Vanuatu referred her to Miot, India. At Miot, she was examined by a multidisciplinary team of doctors, including the pediatric surgeon, medical and surgical oncologist, and radiologist. CT scan of the chest revealed an 8 cm large mass arising from the nerves close to the backbone, compressing the vital organs, namely lungs, food pipe, and the major blood vessel of the heart. To know the exact nature of the mass, PET CT scan was taken, which suggested a neural tumor. The tumor was cancerous and clearly life-threatening, but had not spread to other organs. On detailed examination, our team of medical experts discovered this neuroendocrine tumor would secrete chemicals that raise the blood pressure and heart rate to dangerous levels. Christina's condition required multiple facets of treatment consisting of surgery, chemotherapy and radiation. There could be risk of injury to vital organs, sudden rise in blood pressure, loss of life and the child might need ventilator support post-surgery. All of this was discussed at length with the parents who were given full support. Having great faith in Miot, they agreed to proceed with the treatment. The first challenge to overcome was anesthesia, as the secreting tumor was impinging on the heart and lungs. Medications were used to keep the blood pressure and heart rate under control. The surgeons opened the side of the chest and removed the tumor which was compressing the lung, food pipe, and major blood vessels. The tumor was surgically removed without damaging any vital structures. During this complex surgery, advanced coagulation and laser machines ensured that there was just 10 ml blood loss. Baby Christina was shifted to the ICU and was under constant monitoring and administration of continuous epidural infusions to keep her free of post-operative pain. She started her feed after four hours and was out of ICU in two days. On histopathological analysis, the tumor was found to be ganglioneuroblastoma, an intermediate type of nerve cell cancer. Post-surgery, scan was repeated to confirm that the tumor was removed completely. For her parents, it felt like a miracle as Christina was back on her feet within a week, playing and running around like any other child. They were very happy seeing their child recover from such a high-risk surgery and becoming cancer-free. She started now walking up on the corridor, playing, it's something surprises me a lot because back from where I came from, normally the time frame I was expecting, it's gonna be like two to three months for Christina to be able to recover. And I guess the medication, the facilities, here yeah, it's too outstanding. That's why as a result, she was able to recover just as soon as possible. Yeah.